Exxon would have uh, announced two further discoveries today, Hirokiro one and the Seabob one. Those are the two new discoveries announced by ExxonMobil, um, followed by a statement from the Ministry of Natural Resources on behalf of the government, expressing um, the, the commitment in our partnership with Exxon and to continue exploration activities offshore Guyana. As you're aware, we've been focusing, yes, on production. Production to date is close to 350,000 barrels um, per day. But also we've been keeping a close eye on exploration activities, not only in the Stabber block, but also the other offshore blocks um, in Guyana. Now, these two discoveries were made in the Stabber block. It will add to the 31 discoveries that we have already in the Stabber block. So there are 33 to date in the Stabber block and a total of 38 discoveries offshore Guyana because we had the discoveries in the quarantine block, for example, uh, Kanuku block, and those will add to the, the Stabber discoveries. Now, this is something that we welcome as a government. This will add to the already 11 billion barrels that was already um, discovered. Uh, we now await the, the further information and the appraisal to be completed on these wells so at least we can, we can get a, an estimation or, or quantity of crude or hydrocarbon that is available. This obviously would lead to our long-term plan of having 10 FPSOs in, by next 10 years. Um, we already signed two other production licenses, Payara and Yellowtail. Um, Yaru would be the next um, development that will come on board in the Stabber block and uh, definitely these resources now discovered will add to the other developments to come. So it's something that the government of Guyana welcomes and we look forward for even more positive results as we continue exploration activities offshore Guyana. Alright, so yes, EPA, EPA now has a 24-hour satellite monitoring um, offshore Guyana so we can monitor all activities offshore in real time. Besides from that, the Guyana National Bureau of Standards would have a physical presence on all the FPSOs, um, but not the drill ships, on the FPSOs to monitor what is happening offshore Guyana. Added to that, the Ministry of Natural Resources, we are doing our own monitoring too. Besides from that, we have weekly technical meeting with ExxonMobil technical team to have regular updates as to what is happening in terms of exploration. We have been following um, production, um, but exploration too is important because we want to ensure that that continues and all the energies and resources are not contained or confined to production only. Um, in the quarantine block, we are, we are expecting some amount of exploration to continue there. We have already been told by the company that the second well um, will be drilled later in this year. In the Kanuku block, there is exploration activity. We expect that in the Orange Oak and in the Kanji blocks, that next year there will be some amount of drilling in those blocks too. Because our production and most of our discoveries has been centered around the Stabra block. So it will be, we, we, we will be happy to have discoveries made outside of the Stabra block um, as well too. Because that will bring development to different parts of the country. For example, the quarantine block. Should we have another discovery move to development? It simply means more development for uh, Region 6, uh, Region 5 and those areas. Um, they will probably see development that is taking place in Region 3 and 4 right now based on the Stabber block. There is a stipulated time period that is given with each contract that once the lift is completed, that within 30 days or 45 days the payments are made. We have never had a, an issue with payment to date with all the companies that we have been dealing with in terms of marketing our crude or buying our crude. We have never had an issue. All payments were made within the stipulated time um, set out in the contract as well as royalty payment have always been made by Exxon on, on, on the time specified. So there is no issue with regards to late payment or payments not being made to date. I want to say that the oil and gas sector, as government, we will continue to um, work on improving the, the, 
the architecture, the framework to manage the sector. Already we have reformed or restructured the Natural Resources Fund to bring greater accountability and transparency to the revenue or proceeds coming in from the oil and gas sector. We have passed on local content legislation which is bearing um, fruits now for our local private sector. And I've spoken recently to the private sector chairman, Josh Young, Chamber of Commerce President, and the, the, the response is very positive. And more and more we are seeing that Guyanese are beginning to register business with the local content secretariat. The, the register is actually online now, so anyone can go online and view the companies that would have registered with the secretariat and, and are, are in possession of a local content um, certificate. Um, what we will continue to do is to hold regular workshops throughout the country so that we can continue to monitor local content and also build capacity among our local private sector and our people generally so that Guyanese too will be given an opportunity to work in the oil and gas sector. As you're aware, we are working on setting up the Guyana Technical Training College in Port Moran, Barbies, um, where our young people mostly can be trained to work in the oil and gas sector specifically because it is new to us. We want as much Guyanese as possible to work in the oil and gas sector. In that way, um, people will benefit directly from the sector because if there are families that have one family member working in the oil and gas sector, they will reap or they will feel as though they're benefiting from oil and gas. Because a new sector to us, and rightfully Guyanese should benefit. So our commitment is to ensure that we continue to manage the sector in a manner that every single Guyanese, every single community can benefit eventually.